Hello students, welcome to our today's lesson. In our today's lesson, we will learn preparation of solution and calligraphy properties of solution. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to define dilution, define calligative properties, list calligative properties, calculate osmotic pressure, vapor pressure, boiling point, elevation, and freezing point depression. Preparation of solution, diluting solution. Dilution is the procedure of preparing less concentrated solution from a more concentrated solution by adding water. In the process of dilution, concentration and volume change, but number of moles of solutes and number of equivalents of solutes remain unchanged. Therefore, number of moles of solutes is unchanged in the process of dilution. Number of number of moles moles of solute number of number of moles of solute before dilution before dilution before dilution equal number of moles of solute number of moles moles of solute solute after dilution after dilution dilution because in the process of dilution, number of moles of solutes and number of equivalent of solute is unchanged. Only concentration and volume of the solution is changed. But molarity, number of mole divided by volume of the solution. From this number of mole equal molarity times volume or concentration of a solution equal number of mole divided by volume of the solution. Now, initial moles of the solutes equal initial concentration times initial volume of the solution. C1 times V1 equal number of moles of solutes after dilution is final concentration times final volume. C final times V final, or most of the time, concentration of a solution is given by molarity. You can write this as M1 times V1 equal M2 times volume to final volume. This is dilution equation, dilution equation. Example, how do you prepare 500 milliliter of a 0.4 molar of sodium hydroxide. What is given? Molarity of the solution and volume of the solution is given. You are asked to calculate mass of the solute. How do you prepare 500 milliliter of a 0.4 molar of sodium hydroxide? Molarity by definition capital M equal number of mole divided by volume of the solution. From this, number of mole is mass of the solute divided by molar mass times volume of the solution. Mass of the solute, small m, equal molarity of the solution times molar mass times volume. Molarity of the solution times molar mass of the solid times volume of the solution equal molarity of the solution is 0 0.4 mole per liter, 0 0.4 mole per liter, mole per liter, times molar mass of sodium hydroxide, sodium hydroxide, sodium, atomic mass is 23, hydroxide, oxygen, 16, hydrogen, 1, total 40 gram per mole, 40 gram per mole, times volume of the solution, 500 milliliter. In liter is 0 0.5 liter. 0 0.5 liter. Liter will be cancelled by liter. Mole by mole. Therefore, 0 0.4 times 40 times 0 0.5 
is 8 gram equal 8 gram 8 gram the question says how do you prepare 500 milliliter of a 0 0.4 molar of sodium hydroxide what do you do to prepare this solution weight 8 gram of sodium hydroxide then dissolve in enough water until final volume of the solution is 500 students let us try this question you have three minutes Welcome back again, students. Let us do together. How many milliliters of 3 molar sulfuric acid are needed to make 450 milliliters of 0 0.1 molar sulfuric acid? Now this is dilution. Therefore, from dilution equation, we have... Molarity 1 times V1 equal molarity 2 times volume 2, V2. What is given? Initial concentration, initial molarity, M1 is 3 molar, V1 is unknown. Final volume and final concentration is given. Molarity 2, M2 is 0 0.1 molar final volume v2 is 450 milliliter 450 milliliter 
You are asked to calculate the initial volume, V1. Therefore, V1 equal molarity two times V2 divided by initial concentration, initial molarity. Molarity 2 is 0 0.1, 0 0.1 molar times V2 is 450 milliliter divided by initial concentration is 3 molar, 3 molar. Molar will be cancelled by molar. We are left with milliliter, which is the units of volume. Therefore, 0 0.1 times 450 divided by 3 is 15 milliliter, 15 milliliter. This is initial volume of the solution. Calligative properties of a solution. Calligative properties are those properties which depend on total amount of solid or total concentration of a solid, not depend on nature and kind of solute. Calligative is a Latin word meaning collective. The four most important calligative properties of a solution are vapor pressure lowering, denoted by the symbol delta P, vapor pressure lowering, which depends on amount of solutes or concentration of solutes. Boiling point elevation, denoted by the symbol delta Tb, boiling point elevation. Freezing point depression is delta Tf, freezing point depression. Lowering in freezing points and osmotic pressure, osmotic pressure. These are the four most important Kaligati properties of a solution that depend on amount of solutes or concentration of solute, regardless of the kind or nature of solute. Let us see each one by one. Vapor pressure. Addition of a solid solute into a solvent lowers its vapor pressure. Why? Because, look, this is a beaker containing pure water. Pure water. This is a beaker containing solution, solution. Non-volatile solid solute is dissolved in water. Solid plus water, solute plus water, plus water. This is non-volatile, non-volatile. No tendency to escape from this solution. If you look at this pure water, those water molecules with enough kinetic energy can be converted into vapor. Therefore, here we have high vapor pressure. But when we come to the solution, the fact that solute dissolve in a solvent is that there is solute solvent interaction. Now, this interaction, which is solute solvent interaction, reduce the vapor pressure of this solution. Therefore, here we have small vapor pressure, low vapor pressure. We can say the vapor pressure of a solution. The vapor pressure of a solution is lower than that of the pure solvent. The relationship between solution vapor pressure and solvent vapor pressure is expressed by Raoult's law, which states the partial pressure of a solvent over the solution vapor pressure of a solvent over the solution, which is P of the solution, P of the solution, equal, equal, is given by the vapor pressure of the pure solvent times the mole fraction of the solvent in the solution at constant temperature.
Therefore, vapor pressure of a solvent over the solution, according to Raoult's law, equal mole fraction of the solvent, mole fraction of the solvent times vapor pressure of a pure solvent, pure solvent. Mole fraction add up to give one. Therefore, mole fraction of the solid, mole fraction of the solid plus mole fraction of the solvent, mole fraction of the solvent equal one. From this mole fraction of the solvent, mole fraction of the solvent equal one minus mole fraction of the solid, mole fraction of the solid. In a place of mole fraction of the solvent, we can use this, one minus mole fraction of the solid. Therefore, P of the solution, P of the solution equal, mole fraction of the solvent is one minus, one minus mole fraction of the solid times vapor pressure of pure solvent, P naught of the solvent, P naught of the solvent. P of the solution, P of the solution equal one times vapor pressure of pure solvent is P naught of the solvent, vapor pressure of pure solvent minus P naught of the solvent times mole fraction of the solid, mole fraction of the solid, mole fraction of the solid, P of the solution. P of the solution equal P naught of the solvent, P naught of the solvent, P naught of the solvent minus, minus mole fraction of the solid times vapor pressure of a pure solvent, mole fraction of the solid times vapor pressure of a pure solvent, P naught of the solvent. We can write this as P naught of the solvent minus P of the solution. P naught of the solvent minus vapor pressure of pure solvent over the solution. P of the solution, P of the solution equal mole fraction of the solid, mole fraction of the solid times vapor pressure of a pure solvent, pure solvent equal P naught of the solvent minus P of the solution is lowering in vapor pressure or vapor pressure lowering, denoted by the symbol delta P, which is an example of Caligati properties of a solution which depend on amount of solute. Therefore, it is lowering in vapor pressure, not vapor pressure, is an example of Caligati properties of a solution. Example. The vapor pressure of a pure solvent is 0.4 atmosphere. What is given? Vapor pressure of pure solvent equal 0.4 atmosphere. 0.4 atmosphere. When 0.5 mole of a non-dissociating solid is dissolved in 1.5 mole of the solvent at the same temperature, the constant lowering of vapor pressure is dash. You are asked to calculate lowering in vapor pressure, delta P. Delta P, lowering in vapor pressure, equal vapor pressure of pure solvent, P naught of the solvent, P naught of the solvent, minus vapor pressure of the solution, vapor pressure of the solution, equal mole fraction of the solid, mole fraction of the solid times vapor pressure of a pure solvent, P naught of the solvent. Mole fraction of the solid is number of mole of solid, number of mole of solid, which is 0 0.5 mole of non-dissociating, 0 0.5 mole, 0 0.5 mole, divided by, because mole fraction of the solids by definition, is number of mole of solute divided by number of mole of solution. 0 0.5 divided by total number of mole of the solution is 0 0.5 plus 1.5. 0 0.5 mole plus 1.5 mole times 
vapor pressure of pure solvent, which is 0 0.4 atmosphere. 0 0.4 atmosphere. Now the lowering in vapor pressure, delta P equal 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.5 plus 1.5 is 2 mole. Mole will be cancelled by mole. Mole fraction has no unit. Therefore, 0 0.5 divided by 2 times 0 0.4 atmosphere is 0 0.1 atmosphere. 0 0.1 atmosphere. Vapor pressure of a solution is lowered by 0 0.1 atmosphere. Because, as we said, addition of a non-volatile or non-dissociating solids into a solvent lowers its vapor pressure. You see? Vapor pressure of a solution lowered by 0 0.1 atmosphere. This is delta P of this solution. Boiling point elevation. The addition of an non-volatile solid to a liquid will reduce its vapor pressure. Such a solution must be heated to a higher temperature than the pure solvent for its vapor pressure to be equal to its external pressure. For example, look at these two beakers. This beaker contain pure water, pure water. The second beaker contain solution, solution. And then volatile solutes dissolve in water. This is solution. Solute plus water, solvent, solid plus water. We know that water boils at 100 degrees centigrade. Water boils at 100 degrees centigrade. Boiling point of a liquid is the temperature at which vapor pressure of a liquid equal external pressure. Water boils at 100 degrees centigrade. What does this mean? At this temperature, at 100 degrees centigrade, Vapor pressure of water equal its external pressure. In this case, we say water boils. Addition of a solute into a solvent lowers its vapor pressure. Therefore, this solution must be heated to a higher temperature so that the vapor pressure of this solution equal its external pressure. Boiling point of this solution elevated. Now, boiling point elevation delta Tb. Boiling point elevation delta Tb equal. Boiling point of the solution Tb. Boiling point of the solution minus boiling point of a pure solvent T naught B where delta Tb is boiling point elevation. Tb is boiling point of the solution. t naught b is boiling point of pure solvent. The change in boiling point is proportional to the molality of the solution. Delta Tb, delta Tb is directly proportional to molality of the solution. This proportionality constant is known as boiling point elevation constant, which is denoted by the symbol Kb. Therefore, we can write this as delta Tb. Delta Tb equal Kb times molality of the solution. You see? Boiling point elevation equal boiling point elevation constant Kb times molality of the solution, which is an example of Caligati properties of a solution because it depends on amount of solids, concentration of solids. One way of expressing concentration of a solution is molality. Equal, 
equal delta T B is boiling point of the solution, boiling point of the solution minus boiling point of pure solvent. Delta T B equal K B times molality equal boiling point of the solution minus boiling point of pure solvent. Example. Calculate the boiling point of a 0 0.33 molar solution of solute in benzene. Boiling point elevation constant of benzene is 2.53 degrees centigrade per molar. Boiling point of pure benzene is 18.1 degrees centigrade. You are asked to calculate boiling points of the solution. Therefore, Delta T B, delta T B, boiling point elevation equal boiling point of the solution minus boiling point of a pure solvent T naught B equal K B times molality of the solution. K B times molality of the solution. You are asked to calculate boiling point of the solution. T B, boiling point of the solution equal. Kb times molality, Kb times molality of the solution plus boiling point of a pure solvent equal Kb is boiling point elevation constant of benzene is 2.53 degree centigrade per molan, 2.53 degree centigrade per molan, per molan times molality of the solution is 0 0.33 molan, 0 0.33 molan, molan, plus boiling point of pure solvents, which is 18.1 degree centigrade, 18.1 degree centigrade. Molan will be cancelled by molan. Therefore, boiling point of the solution equal, boiling point of the solution, equal 2.53 degree centigrade times 0 0.33 plus 18.1 degree centigrade is 18.19 degree centigrade. You see, pure benzene, pure benzene alone boils at 18.1 degree centigrade. When a solid dissolve in the solution, boiling points of the solution elevate to 80.93 degrees centigrade. Therefore, boiling points of a solution is greater than that of a pure solvent. Freezing point depression denoted by the symbol delta T F. When a solid solute dissolved in a solvent, the freezing point of the solution is lower than that of the pure solvent. For example, pure water, pure water, pure water freezes at zero degree centigrade. Zero degree centigrade. But if a solid solute dissolve in this water, the freezing point of the solution is depressed. Therefore, freezing point of the solution is less than freezing point of pure solvent. Now, freezing point depression, delta Tf, freezing point depression, delta Tf equal freezing point of pure solvent, T naught F minus freezing point of the solution, Tf. This shift of the freezing point is called freezing point depression. The change in freezing point, delta Tf, delta Tf, is directly proportional to molality of the solution, molality of the solution. This proportionality constant is known as 
freezing point depression constants, which is denoted by the symbol Kf. Therefore, we can write this as delta Tf, delta Tf equal Kf times molality of the solution, where Kf is freezing point depression constant times M is molality of the solution equal equal delta Tf is T naught F minus Tf. T naught F is freezing point of pure solvent minus freezing point of the solution. Freezing point of the solution. For example, calculate the freezing point of a solution that contains 60 gram of urea. Molar mass of urea is 60 gram per mole in 500 gram of water. Freezing point depression constant of the solvent is 1.86 degrees centigrade per molar. You are asked to calculate freezing points of the solution. Now, delta Tf, delta Tf, freezing point depression. Lowering in freezing point equal freezing point of pure solvent T naught F minus freezing point of the solution Tf equal freezing point depression constant Kf times molality of the solution. Now the solvent is water. We know that water freeze at zero degrees centigrade. Therefore, T naught F is zero degree centigrade. This is zero degree centigrade minus Tf equal Kf times molality of the solution. Kf times molality of the solution. Minus Tf or Tf equal Tf equal minus Kf is 1.86 degree centigrade per molar minus 1.86 degree centigrade per molal times times molality of the solution. Molality by definition, small m, is number of mole of solutes per kg of solvent, but number of mole of solute is mass of solute divided by molar mass times kg of kilogram of solvent. Kilogram of solvent. Mass of the solute Urea is 60 gram equal 60 gram divided by molar mass of the solid. The solid is urea. Urea dissolved in water. Its molar mass is 60 gram per mole. 60 gram per mole times times mass of the solvent in kg. 500 gram of water in kilogram is 0 0.5 kilogram. Gram will be cancelled by gram. By 61, by 61, this is 1 over 0 0.5. Therefore, this is 1 over 0 0.5 mole per kg, mole per kilogram. Tf, Tf equal minus 1.86 degrees centigrade per molar. Mole per kg is molar. This is molar. Mole per kg is molar. Now molar will be cancelled by molar. We are left with degree centigrade, which is the units of temperature. Therefore, minus 1.86 degree centigrade times 1 over 0 0.5 is minus 3.5 minus 3.72 degree centigrade. You see, water freezes at zero degree centigrade. When urea dissolves in it, freezing point of the solution become minus 3.72 degree centigrade. Therefore, freezing point of the solution is lower than that of a pure solvent. Osmosis and osmotic pressure. Osmotic
pressure. Osmosis is defined as it is the movement of solvent molecules from a less concentrated solution into a more concentrated solution or from water side into solution side through a semi permeable membrane. Osmotic pressure denoted by this symbol, osmotic pressure. It is the pressure required to stop or prevent osmosis is known as osmotic pressure. This osmotic pressure is an example of Caligati properties of a solution because osmotic pressure, osmotic pressure equal molarity of the solution times R is universal gas constant times temperature in Kelvin, you see, is an example of Caligati properties of a solution because it depends on concentration of the solution, molarity. Capital M is molarity of the solution. R is universal gas constant having a volume R 0. Point R equal 0 0.082 atmosphere liter per mole Kelvin. T is temperature in Kelvin. Therefore, osmotic pressure equal molarity times R times temperature. For example, calculate the concentration of a solid particle in human blood if the osmotic pressure is 7.53 atmosphere at 37 degrees centigrade. You are asked to calculate concentration of the solution. Osmotic pressure, osmotic pressure equal molarity times R times temperature. From this concentration or molarity, capital M equal osmotic pressure divided by R times temperature. Osmotic pressure of this solution is 7.53 atmosphere. 7.53 atmosphere divided by R is universal gas constant having value 0 0.082 atmosphere atmosphere per mole lit atmosphere liter per mole Kelvin mole times Kelvin times temperature in Kelvin 37 degree centigrade temperature in Kelvin equal temperature in degree centigrade plus 273 degree centigrade is 37 37 plus 273 is 310 Kelvin 310 Kelvin Kelvin will be cancelled by Kelvin atmosphere will be cancelled by atmosphere we are left with mole per liter which is the units of concentration equal 0 0.3 mole per liter known as molar this is concentration of this solution having an osmotic pressure of 7.53 at a temperature of 37 degrees centigrade. Students, in our today's lesson, we learned dilution. Dilution is a procedure of preparing less concentrated solution from a more concentrated solution. In the process of dilution, number of moles of solute is unchanged, but concentration and volume of the solution is changed. Caligati properties of a solution are properties that depend on total amount or total concentration of solute particles, but not on the kind and nature of solids. The four most important Caligati properties of a solution are vapor pressure lowering, boiling point elevation, freezing point depression, and osmotic pressure. This brings us to the end of our today's lesson. Until next time, goodbye.